So we started up Dev Academy because the tech industry is booming and they can't find enough people with the right skills to be able to expand. These companies primarily are looking for people with great comm skills. The ability to work in teams, be empathetic, learn fast on the job. It's soft skills. They're looking for um, abilities that most people already have. Now, obviously there's a technical foundation needed and that's where Dev Academy can help. So uh, I've been at Zero now for four and a half years and during that time we haven't slowed down trying to find uh, talent. Things that we look for in interviews is um, beyond just the, the basic skill set that's matched is some of the softer things. So if they're a good communicator, if they ask the right questions, um, if they're inquisitive, uh, those are the sorts of indicators that uh, will make someone successful. Well a lot of people don't consider a job or a career in the tech industry because they think you need some sort of uh, you know, super skills, you know, deep math skills or deep science skills. It's just not the case. I'm Simon Young. I'm the head of development and test at TradeMe. The main thing is how you communicate and how you fit into a team. Um, we run agile squads here at TradeMe, and it's really important that everyone in a squad uh, is a good communicator and can share what they're working on with each other. My name's Matt, and I'm a developer with PowerShop. I wasn't at the top of uh, my class in, in science and math and I actually just studied economics and law before uh, starting my career in software development. My name is Kelly and I work at PowerShop as an interaction designer and developer. My background is actually in design. Um, I'm Hannah, I work with Lumio as a junior developer. I never really considered myself particularly tech savvy. My background is actually in art. I did a fine arts degree. My name is Gerard and I'm a software developer here at Zero. My background is actually in uh, traditional animation, so I'm completely self-taught in programming. I'm Juno Byrne. I'm a graduate developer at Zero. I got into software development as I had to take a compulsory paper at university. I absolutely fell in love with the info system side of uni, so I took it full time. My name's Kinesi. I'm a web developer at TradeMe. The key skills to be a software developer are you need to enjoy problem solving and you need to enjoy building things. My name is Justin Sung and I'm a senior software developer at NZX. I love my job because I get to solve problems every day. I think the key skills for a software developer are to be able to communicate well to, to each other because that enables you to get in a cycle of learning and teaching with your peers. We take someone with great soft skills. They've got the comm skills, those team player skills, uh, the ability to learn quickly, uh, problem solving skills, and we give them that technical foundation to get a role in one of our partner companies where they will pay you to continue learning. I feel as though I've learnt more in the past two months than I did at my three years of uni. The best thing about working at PowerShop is that um, I'm constantly learning. Um, it's a very challenging atmosphere, but very supportive. PowerShop's just a fun place to work. So culture training is really important. We have a high expectations, we work hard, we play hard, but we also support and um, build our team. So it's important that we hire and grow great people at TradeMe. Uh, what I love about my job mostly is that I get to work on a product that has 50,000 users. So working on something that large that I know people are enjoying as well is really cool. So this is like outward bound for your tech career. It is totally immersive and you learn by doing. And at the end of it, you come out with some great skills. I love my tech job. 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 <laughs> so if you're looking for a career in tech and Dev Academy sounds like the place for you, enrol now. <laughs>